Hello friends, Nilsson here and today we are talking about resolution. Which one is actually the best solution for your Mac? To help you out, I have two monitors here with me, the LG 32 inches 4K and the LG 32 inches 1440p. And the first thing I want to talk about is scaling. Mac OS uses a 2x scaling factor, which means if you go out right now and buy the 27 inch 5K studio display from Apple, the default resolution for that monitor is not going to be 5K, because everything is going to look really small. Instead, that monitor is going to run at 1440p, and that's how the 2x scaling factor comes into play. If you multiply 1440p resolution by 2, you get 5K, and that's basically how Apple is able to get that retina display where everything looks so sharp. But there is another very important factor when it comes to retina and non-retina displays and that is pixels per inch. Let me explain. macOS interface was designed to work best with non-retina displays that have around 110 pixels per inch and retina displays that have around 220 pixels per inch. So when you use a display that isn't close to those numbers, it means that the text and the interface elements will either look too small or too big. And this is one of the issues you will see later on in this video. The 32 inches 4K monitor that I have here has 140 pixels per inch, whereas the 32 inches 1440p has 93 pixels per inch. You can see that none of these monitors are actually close to the recommended PPI, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy one. You can see that a 27 inch 1440p monitor is actually a good option for non retina displays on the Mac. Same thing can be said for the 34 inches 1440p ultra wide. So, if you want to stay close to the recommended PPI, those monitors might be a great option for you. So now let's get back to the comparison. And the first thing we have to decide is which scale resolution are we going to be using. Of course, for the 1440p monitor, you are going to be using it at the native resolution. But with the 4K monitor, it's a bit more complicated. Using the 4K monitor at its native resolution is out of the question, because the interface is way too small. So now that leaves us with two options. The first one would be to use the 2x scaling factor on the Mac and use 1080p. This is the best option if you want the sharpest image without any performance issues. The second option is to use a scale resolution such as 1440p. But the problem with scaled resolution is that you might have some performance issues depending on the kind of work you do. So let's start with 4K running at 1440p. In this mode you can see that the display is not running at the native resolution. Instead it's running at 5K resolution. So basically for us to get 1440p UI, macOS has to scale everything to 5K and then downscale to 1440p because of the 2x scaling factor. Now looking at these two monitors side by side, the biggest difference I can see is the sharpness. The 4K monitor running at 1440p is way sharper than the 1440p monitor and that is something you can notice straight away. In this mode, the only difference between these two monitors is the sharpness. Everything else looks pretty much the same and if you are a programmer, a student or you do anything related to writing and reading articles, then the 4K monitor is the one I would recommend, because everything is so sharp and easy to read. Now, in terms of performance, I didn't have any issues with scale resolution. I do video editing, design work, photo editing, and I didn't notice anything unusual. I think it comes down to how good your computer is, especially the GPU, and also what kind of work you do. For example, if you work with heavy 3D projects, you might have some issues with scaling, but for the things I do, I can definitely recommend the 4K monitor. Now let's talk about 4K scaled to 1080p. In this mode, you can see that the display is running at the native resolution, but the user interface looks like 1080p, so you shouldn't have any issues when it comes to performance, which is what we want. And by using the 4K monitor at 1080p, that's how you get the best image quality out of your 4K monitor on the Mac. The image, the text, everything looks really good, it's amazing to see. But unfortunately, there is a catch. And the catch is that you lose a bit of screen real estate compared to 1440p. And that for me, is a big deal. I tried to make it work, but there is just not enough space to work with. 
I will show a couple of examples so you have a better idea how much you lose in terms of screen real estate. Now, one thing I really love about 4K monitor is how versatile it is compared to 1440p. For example, the 1440p user interface looks good to me, but it might look too small for you. The 1080p user interface looks too big for me, but it might be just perfect for you. The good thing about 4K monitor is that you can basically choose any resolution you want and it will still look great. You can choose from 1080p, 1440p and you can even use 1692p, which is the same user interface resolution used on the Apple XDR 6K display. So if you want the sharpest image and more resolution options, then the 4K monitor is the one to get. But if you are concerned about performance issues or you just want to save some money, then the 1440p monitor still is a great option. I've been using mine for 2 years now and I still love this monitor. So if you like this video, please subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.